I'm just going to check and see if this compiles, which I know it won't. Yeah, because this hadn't changed. Not underscore. This is from from another one, a different editor that I actually made. I had the classes and stuff named a bit different, but hopefully we'll be able to change it. I'll just go back to where is it? Map. Load tile set. I see what the problem is. It's supposed to be a capital. Let's test this. Yep. Okay, so we'll call this test map. And let's make the height. I'll keep the height the same actually. We'll make the width a bit more. I'll bring the height down to 15. And the tile height and the tile width are both going to be 32. So, oh, yeah, that changed. That's right, that's the way it should be doing. Scrolling nicely. Everything works good. See if that comes up again. Yeah. And our, uh, even the title of the map changed. Test map. That's right. Good. So, let's see what else can we do now. I suppose we could start on the load tile sheet form. Okay, we're going to add a new item. Um, it's going to be a form, Windows form, and we'll call it um, new tile sheet form. All right. I'm just going to copy over all the different things that you need in this. Okay. That looks quite good. So we have a group box here with two labels and two numeric up down boxes. Let's show you what I call those called this box tile height box and this tile width box you can see that here and uh, this is just I'm sure that's load file file name text box there you go and this is just the browse button this is the OK button and that's the cancel button OK so What do I call this? Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So this is a, a bit, bit longer. Also, uh, what I want you to add is a open file dialog. Here we go. Just double click that. It brings it up here. That's the way I want it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the browse button. I'm just going to make a few variable declarations in here. Let's see, we're going to... We need the file name for the tile sheet. Okay, I'm just going to copy these across because it's pretty long. It's a bit of a long class, this. Also, we want the tile dimensions. They're set by default to 32 and 32, which is good. In the Browse button, we want to open the file dialog and we'll just open it at file directory C so set the initial file directory after that we want to set the title of the dialog box these sometimes these are steps you can leave out but I like to put them in that clears the file name it sets the map file select the map file that's the title for the box the thing is we want to only filter image files or .png files specifically. You can put in much more, much m more in-depth filters. Change all the different things. You can have bitmaps coming in and all sorts of things. That's something maybe you could do by yourself to extend the functionality of the, the editor. Um, so we want to browse the tile sheet file. So we open the dialog. So. Show, show dialog, 
open file dialog one dot show dialog does not equal dialog result dot cancel so if we haven't cancelled the input we want to get the file name so sheet file name equals open file dialog one dot file name otherwise the sheet file name is nothing and then we want to just show the user what they've actually written or what they've actually found let's set the tile the, the text box to the specified file name so that's file name text box dot text equals set sheet file name so in here if we double click on this we want to go return ok dialog result ok so this dot dialog result equals dialog result dot ok that's fine um, otherwise we want to cancel it cancel input this dot dialog result equals dialog result dot cancel fine that's good so we'll just hook that up to the button now so load tile button looks about right to me so in here there's actually quite a bit to do as well I'm not sure whether I'll get it finished but I'll try and go through as fast as I can the thing that you want to always do in this is we want to freeze the game then before we end, we want to create the new, a new instance of the of the tile sheet form. So that's just like we've done there. Maybe that should be here. It should actually be forms dot. I changed mine a bit. There we go. Then after that, we want to get the tile sheet. If the OK button was clicked, we get the tile sheet. So here, this is what we've added from here down. So what we want to do is get the tile height, the tile width. So set those in the game one class. Then we want to uh, set the tile sheet name because that can be useful if we're setting the new map. Then we want to set the click uh, property of the base class to false again. Then we want to import the tile sheet as a texture. Okay, so this is actually a bad idea to have this in. I had this in before because I thought it would be a good good idea, but it's not because texture we're using texture two D dot from file to load the texture um, from a file that's bypassing the content pipeline from XNA and that does not take out magenta as a a color keyed color so I added this in and it's kinda glitchy it doesn't work with every computer it does work sometimes but sometimes it doesn't so you may want to just comment that out well actually you can you can leave it in if you want it's not a big deal because I would I suggest using uh, PNGs with automatic transparencies and that. So if their texture file was not found or doesn't exist, then there was an error in the texture, and that's just in a try and catch statement. That just catches anything. And otherwise, we want to reset that button property and unfreeze the game. I know I'm running through this really fast, but hey, has to be done. So just going to recap on that. Just freeze it, find the new tile sheet, set the the variables, import the texture, and then if there's an error, catch it. Otherwise, we want to always set back, set the base property of previous click to false, so that we can click the button again. So let's try this. No, nope, nothing. Oh, sorry, I need to change one thing in the game one class. Just try and get this quick. Okay, so let's just make this public static. And we'll try that. Make this capital, and we're done.